We just got off a plane from San Jose, Costa Rica, and tonight we're staying in the airport for like 12 hours. In a real bed though, in a real bed. In a, in a box, in a little teeny box that you rent for the night. It's a bed. What are required currently in Costa Rica to leave the country? We didn't have to do this when we came in, but to leave the country is a COVID toast. So this is my first swab up the nose. Como te gusta mi amor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I came here. To get a COVID test with my shirt off. Woo dog! And don't I look like... This girl knows how to travel. Oh look, they said that's our last bathroom for like a year or something. So that if you gotta go, go. I'm gonna go. Atlanta, customs, most confusing. Especially if you're a hoe, dude. We have uh, that to look forward to. I'm hungry. One of my tips, guys, when you get on these escalators, don't put your hands on that hand reel, guys. You don't have any germs on that thing. The long and winding oh road. It never ends. It's a long walk, but it's a pretty nice airport. I think it might even be the biggest airport in the whole country. At least there's no line. We went through customs twice because we took the wrong path. And then our check bags, we had to take them with us because our flight's in like 12 hours. I'm super excited. We actually have a bed in the airport tonight. Look, look, look. look. It's a traveler's retreat. Hello. Uh, Trevor Lila Jones checking in. Here's the room. Oh, not sure where the bags are gonna go. Are we even gonna fit in here too? <laughs> oh man, this is not large. First impression of Minute Suites. Hey, I'm just grateful for our bed tonight. They were really nice. We eat the easiest check-in we've had of anything. However, we actually had to carry all of our extra luggage with us and this bed makes out to here so I don't know I think we're gonna have each like 12 inches around maybe on each side but hey we're sleeping in a bed it looks clean it looks comfortable I sure hope it's quiet would we do this again would we have actually maybe rather just taken a taxi to a local hotel slept there the night we'll let you know in the morning back. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see how i feel in the morning when i went to book this thing i thought they had this humongous complex full of suites there are there's four beds here look at this room got this awesome flat screen tv on the wall we got a mirror so that you can see how pretty you are in the dark, which right now is not that pretty. I thought they were actually gonna give us some potato chips and stuff. I thought it was a basket, but it, it, it's, you have to pay for all of it. Nothing's included. At the end, I'll tell you how much it is per square foot for a night. We got thermostat control. That's the uh, air conditioning or the heater. When you press it, the light turns red. You have no idea if it does anything. We've got a bed. So I'm gonna sleep on the couch. Hey, Leela, where are you sleeping? I don't, well, this flips out into a bed, but dude, where are our bags going to be stacked up at the end? I don't know. We're literally going to have to stack all of the luggage that we couldn't check on that desk right there. It has a high-tech digital clock, <laughs> Kleenex, and we have our own refrigerator with drinks that must be included, right? Yeah, no. Once I called them to book wasn't a big deal, their website and the app yeah. blows completely. So just, just call them. The question is, is it quiet in here? Oh, okay. After I've been traveling like for three weeks and all three of those weeks have been with a, a lot of people. There's something kind of quiet and nice about being in here. In this really soundproof room with you. I think we might be okay. Let me see how big this room is. One, two, th it's eight feet by eight feet. If that, it's pretty tiny, dude. Okay. Where's the instructions? Can Leela? I make this fit. Oh. Wait. Can we get that side? How do you do it? I don't know. Is that what? What? Is one of us sleeping down there? One of us up there was that this is? I think so. No way. Yeah. You gotta be kidding. This it's is it. It's not really a bed, it's like it's no I, I, way. I was thinking a bed, weren't you thinking more bed? I was thinking a bed. I was yeah. thinking on that? Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, future Trevor here after a couple good nights sleep. It's recently come to my attention that 79.8% of you aren't subscribed to this channel. Dude, why? It's free. I'm gonna do something for you. Once I hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm gonna shave my head live on YouTube. Hit subscribe. Back to the video. So basically, we're gonna sleep on this. Yo. We're gonna sleep on this vinyl with a blanket. I thought we were gonna be a bed tonight. This blows. Yeah. 
and it's like 165 bucks. Frankly, we're a little bit grossed out, but uh, we'll see if we can actually sleep better than we would on the floor. At least we're not at an airport where there's noise or anything. Good night. Oh, so far it's not going very good. It's the middle of the night. Where's the temperature control? It's like off or on, which I don't know what the freak that means, but. Nope. And then what was that boom? There it sounded like, like somebody was throwing trash cans on the floor above us, metal ones. I think the front desk people are just having a jolly old happy time out there, just talking as loud as they possibly can and giggling. This is prison. But in a prison, they give you like a little bathroom. There is, is there a bathroom? Yeah, you're, this, this is the bathroom right here. It's really nice. But you have to get dressed to go use it. 3.28 a.m. We're going on a family adventure. We have to go potty. I mean, you have to put clothes on. Bathroom is that way. This is what the airport looks like in the middle of the night. Pretty, pretty empty. I saw the girl sitting there waiting at the front desk with the squirt bottle and the towel. And that's how they clean our bed. So not so sure about choosing a place to spend the night where they clean your bed with a spray bottle and a towel. Last night I walked by here and thought that we could do that. It's about the same thing, literally. Is this better than our suite? It might be, but I think they keep lights and stuff on purposely, but I, I don't know. Having a woman that is prepared is good because we're thirsty and everything else is closed. But hey, we got a water bottle that says boobs on it. I've been trying to lock this door. The lady showed me. You have to go all the way over, line it up down there, and hold this with all your might. I have a cramp right here, but that door's not locking. I hope they don't kill us. We'll go back to sleep. Good night. One eternity later. Lila, we still have another 40 minutes left. Where are you going? I just gotta get out of here. I took the good bed. It's so much better. This was only a little bit better than sleeping on those benches out there. But I'm gonna try to sleep for another few minutes while Lila gets breakfast and brushes her teeth in an airport bathroom. Paper pillowcases, not amazing. No sheets, even less amazing. And they just knocked on the door and said, time's up. Never again. What's my assessment of an overnight stay in a minute suite? Never, ever, ever again would I do that. To see how Leela survived falling into treacherous whitewater in Costa Rica, click on our Costa Rica video right up there. To catch our future travels, hit subscribe, like right now. It's free. We can't wait to share our adventures with you. The bigger question are you all wondering is, can you, you know, in one of those boxes? Oh, you are not saying that. Why not? <laughs>